Charles, if you can tell us about the history of the awards, how did it start and when did it start? Um, it's 23 years old this year and uh, we had a very interesting, not record entry level, but 1,744 entries from 289 wineries. But, um, you know, years ago, the, uh, we, we spoke earlier about the Young Wine Show that's, um, I think, 180 years old. It's amazing to think of a show like that. But this one, uh, I think there was a, a need for that because at that stage, um, South Africa was isolated due to apartheid and uh, segregation uh, to the rest of the world. And uh, then things start opening up. And then there was a need for a bottle wine show to really show the, the top wines in South Africa. You know, it's one thing entering a wine in a tank and the wine eventually get blended or put in a barrel, but it's a different thing because I think there's a much bigger responsibility or a bigger, yeah, um, yeah, maybe responsibility is the right word to stand behind the bottle wine with your label on that you design and it belongs to your estate and belong to your brand and to your owner in whatever scenario you work for. Mm -hmm. And how are the wines entered or chosen to be in Veritas? Um, people uh, submit the wine, it costs um, I think just around 700, uh, 700 rand an entry. Um, they need to have 100 cases bottled and labelled ready on premises from the day of entry till the 6th of October till the prizes is announced. And it happened in the past that um, People won golds and double golds, and then the ordinary customer, that's the most important person in this whole chain, uh, drive up to the farm and try to purchase a case or a bottle, depending on what's, uh, you know, what he can afford, and it wasn't available. So we had a request uh, to the, each winery that submit to have, please have this wines available on premises um, after the announcement of the six. It will probably filter through by the the 7th is a Sunday, the, nine, the 10th maybe around there. And uh, then you must have this wine available on premises. And of course, a few um, wholesalers purchase this wine, the successful wines, and they make up uh, mixed boxes or mixed lots. And they also sell it uh, at a premium in their wine shops. Yeah, sure. And how, how are the judges, how are the wines judged? How big is your panel of judges? A seven. Uh, at the Young Wine Show, we also have seven and a new upcoming rookie winemaker, as we refer to them. But here it's more seven experienced uh, judges. And you spoke about how things, how we want to change things. And uh, I must sit down with my committee. And uh, I personally have a bit of a problem that seven uh, winemakers judge um, at a panel. I want definitely a more commercial palette in there. And in some other way, guys, we must, uh, you must come up with suggestions. I know all of them is not excellent tasters, but we need to bring in cellar workers we need to bring in viticulturists and of course we can't enlarge the, the panels to nine or ten but you know there's a definite need for a, you know you, you can just imagine you i can't imagine a panel a panel or a competition got out of viticulture the guy that make all the decisions in the vineyard that say plug leaves and you know reduce the crop and boost the crop you know he need to be on the panel he need to be part of the discussion and, and I want to not radically change panels, but I, I want to bring in youth and I want to bring in uh, cellar workers, senior cellar workers. I think there's exceptional wine judges there that's unfortunately not, not in a negative sense, but hidden away in wineries. Is there any kind of qualification that anyone has to have yeah, a judge? Yeah, you, you need to have uh, passed the, the, a tasting exam that's been uh, the custodian of that is um, uh, Charles Tron. You need to be a Cape wine master. Or uh, we also add the uh, Michael Freejohn's uh, Tasting Academy in the last year or two and uh, I think there we can bring in the more commercial palettes uh, for this reason but that's the three qualifications you have and of course you know the, the seven or eight international judges they are experts in their own right. Are there different categories? I mean there's seven judges per category. Mm -hmm. Okay so how many categories? No, are there? how it works is we, there's quality groups uh, you know a Pinotage Association, a Shannon Blanc interest group, a Savion Blanc interest group so we will fall back on them and ask them who do they prefer and of course what you also must be um, not cautious of but uh, you know must try to prevent is that you have five judges out of the seven out of one region so we try to scatter them and have a person, for instance, in Robertson, in Rawsonville, in Durbanville, representing the coastal region and so on. And have you finished judging today? Yeah, I, I, I was now, you know, as chairman, I'm privileged to stroll here between the, the different panels. In a sense, it's a bit boring. I missed the judging, and I, <laughs> but I was privileged now to judge um, in the last panel, the museum class. That's really like, the, like my 
friends from overseas refer to it. We're really a privilege to judge a 2007 Savion Blanc or a 2005 Chardonnay. But you know, it's amazing to judge a uh, 1933 um, Red Muscadel uh, port. It's, it's, it's really mind blowing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And for the consumer, how does he know whether a wine has done well at Veritas? No, of course the, the sticker on the bottle will do the job uh, <laughs> and I'm always, you know, this. Uh, we're currently sitting with a plus minus half of the wineries in South Africa that uh, have the courage <laughs> to submit wines. Maybe in some cases it may be a, a small stocks, you know, that uh, prevent them from entering. But uh, what, if I can have a, a goal or a pie in the sky, I would love to have more wineries uh, entering, even smaller ones, you know, and if we must change rules slightly, I don't want to make promises that we, instead of having 100 cases of 12, imagine you're only producing 250, your know, wines is selling successful, you know. But if there's horses for courses and we can change that and get more wineries to take part, it will be great. And, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm always saying, you know, I'm, I'm talking of my family and friends that are not serious wine uh, experts. If they walk into a wine shop and there's two bottles of wine lying on the shelf, and one of them, but let's, let's assume both of them is at 40 Rand, and one of them have a gold sticker or leave alone a double gold sticker on, they will definitely prefer to purchase that one.